Hello everyone! Today I'd like to show y'all how to install mods for Ready or Not. With that being said, let's just jump right in. First, we need to make sure that we have Ready or Not installed. Which we do right here in Steam. Next, we need to install some mods. I install all my mods from Nexus Mods as they generally don't have any crazy ads or viruses on their website. So I've picked some mods I'd like to install. We'll come to the first one here, the in-game menu mod. And as you can see, there are two different download options. I'm going to show you how to install the mod manually first and then Vortex after. Download your mod. And once it's done, extract the file wherever you like. I personally make a mod folder to keep track of all the mods I currently have. As you can see here, I already downloaded one mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new mod I have and place it into this mods folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Steam page. Come over here to Ready or Not. We're going to right click, scroll down to Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. And this will bring up your Ready or Not directory. Now let's go ahead and double click on Ready or Not, double click on Content, and then double click on Packs. Go back to our Mods folder. Okay, we're going to take our mods, we're going to copy them using Control C, go over to this folder, and then paste them using Control V. And I know what you're already asking, why copy and paste? Why not just drag and drop the files? The reasoning behind this is so that you can keep track of what mods you already have installed in case your game fails to launch after installing a new one. So that being said, your mod is now installed. Let's launch our game and see if it's working. It hasn't crashed yet, it's a good sign. And for the in-game menu mod, it's usually activated using the M key. There we are. Looks like it's working. And this actually has a little mod manager in here as well. And then now we'll click F2. And it looks like the console unlocker mod is working too. Look at that. Working perfectly. Now if y'all are installing a mod such as a map, whenever you click on manual, it's going to take a little bit of time. These are usually pretty big. Alright, now that we've installed that map mod, let's come over here and see if it works. And it looks like it did. It'll always appear down here in the right hand corner with any new modded maps. One thing I'd like to note here is that modded maps take a long time to boot up the first time. This is because they have to generate new paths for the AI. So if you're planning on playing some multiplayer or something like that, I would highly recommend that you do this in advance. Now let's say you've installed a voiceover mod right here. These will not go in the pack file area. Instead, they'll be going into the voiceover file. As you can see here, we have files that are identical in both our mod folder as well as our voiceover folder in Ready or Not. Now with that being said, if you copy and paste these files, the original ones are going to get deleted. What I like to do is create another new folder and we'll just type backup VO. So now we can just select the voiceovers that are going to get deleted, drop them in the backup VO, and then replace them with our new modded versions. And there you go. All right, now let's kind of go through how to download and use Vortex. And I'll leave a link in the description for all of this so that way you don't have to look around for it. But come up here and click download the latest version of Vortex. Click manual and then manual download again and double click to open it and it should begin the installation process. As you can see here, it already detected a ready or not directory. If it doesn't do this, you can come to games and then scan and do a scan full and then select your steam directory. Click scan and it'll look through all the game files that you have and see which ones are available to mod. Now when we're ever installing mods, we can just come here to vortex, open vortex, and it'll begin installing the mod, as you can see here. Now we can go down here to the mod section and we can see all of our enabled or disabled mods. This is what makes Vortex so nice is that you can just easily enable or disable mods based upon what you're feeling that day. So that was a brief down and dirty how to install mods for Ready or Not. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to help out in any way possible. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We just passed 900 subscribers, so thank you all so, so very much. And as always, remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing. Stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.